All right, last week was a total bust on the FZR 400. So I'm going to do the 600s instead. And I think I found out before that the Triumph isn't fast enough either. So that'd be a bit embarrassing to try that again. Uh, the CBR is new. Let's try the CBR. Um, go for blue wheels. That's fine. I don't know. I don't really care about the gear at the minute. I just want to get this. All these uh, events over with so that I can move on to the Manx and then the uh, actual TT itself, which I'm fairly excited for, actually, because it'll be my first time actually doing the TT in this game. Oh, well, let's go for bike, whatever. I've given up going for fashion and trying to get everything matched. I haven't got enough stuff unlocked to really do that properly uh, when I'm choosing more colourful bikes, like this uh, paint scheme I've got going on on my CBR. Hopefully the CBR will be fast enough. I think I already said that, but this is something that I'm actually really hoping. Because if it's not, then I'm in for another busted episode. And I really don't want to have to do too, too much of this game off camera, because there's not a lot of this game really on YouTube, uh, like a lot of the games I plan to play. So it'd be nice to... Uh, actually be able to get it up and out there. Yeah, the CBR is definitely quick enough. Alright, okay. I'm actually in with a shout this week. If the, uh, Jixer doesn't completely swamp me, but I should be alright. Looking at, looking at my pace right now, I should be alright to win this one. Jesus Christ, these things are a lot faster than the 400. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot to it was auto braking there. I forgot to check what handling model I was on. Oh well, whatever. Now that I'm winning, I don't mind as much. I probably was on intermediate, and I should have just chosen the NC30. NC or maybe even that other CBR, like I was planning on. But whatever. That was last week. This is this week. I'm going to have to think of something to talk about that's not just commentating on how slow my Yamaha is. Because now I'm on a really fast Honda. Um, well, I guess I could talk about uh, Milestone uh, and the AMA Supercross game coming up. Because I have I have a bit of an idea for a video to do that's kind of related to that, but not really. Uh, you see, because I found out while I was watching some Team VVV, uh, a, look, a little bit of a look into the game uh, recently. Uh, by the time this episode comes out, this will have been like three weeks ago. So, you know, I don't even don't even worry about it. But I guess I would recommend uh, this channel that I found called Some uh, Something Rad. He plays uh, motocross games and stuff uh, exclusively. He's not. Most most channels uh, are more, you know, most racing game channels are more like focused. Like uh, you have the F1 channels and then like motocross channels and that sort of thing. My channel is more of a Toka race driver, I guess, type deal, where it's a big mash of as much stuff as you can get in there, which I think is pretty neat. You know, I like that uh, idea. I like Toka race driver a lot. Not really the first one. I can't really deal with the handling model on Toka Race Driver 1, but uh, 3 uh, is the bomb. It's, you know, I've been playing Toka 3 for years now, and Race Driver 2 is, you know, it's good. Uh, I don't really care about it as much as 3, but it's definitely better than 1, and I haven't actually played any of the Toka Touring Car games before, so... Considering I'm planning on this channel to let's play every console game released 1995 and afterwards, I'm I should uh, get on looking into some of the PS1 titles because right now I I'm definitely focusing way too much on the PS2 uh, and pretty soon the 360 I'll get onto uh, after I get done with Need Speed Underground and Need Speed Underground 2, but that's going to take a while to get them done. 
Underground 2, uh, the first, um, Underground, what? What a mess of a sentence that was. Underground is taking way longer than I thought it would to get done. I didn't, you know, I obviously I saw that at the beginning of the game that there were 111 events to do, but I didn't realize that I'd have to be doing this many restarts. I'm At this point, I'm feeling like Underground 2 might take me less time to do, despite having to drive to each individual race, purely because I won't be doing races nearly as many times. You know, it's much harder than I expected, which is weird because Underground 2, I can't remember what difficulty I played that on. Probably Medium I played that on, I think, and that was fine. And I tried to play Underground on Medium, and I ran into a massive roadblock, but it seems like most of the people that have played that game would agree that the track that I really hate the most and I have the most trouble with uh, is definitely the low point of the game, really. I don't, I don't know how accurate of a statement that would be, I don't know really how many people would agree with that, but from what I've seen of various people uh, talking about Underground, a track that I really hate, that I've forgotten the name of, I think, is it Airport Terminal? Hmm, the one where you go through the tunnel and you always crash into the pillars in the middle of the tunnel, and then there's that construction site bit, and the... Um, the one shortcut on the whole track is a jump up a, like a little bit of steps. That one. We all know the one I'm talking about because it's the one that I really hate and there was a whole bunch of... It took me like three episodes, I think, of my Need for Speed Let's Play to... No, not three. Two at least. Uh, to win that race. Definitely a low point uh, of the game, that's for sure. But to be honest, now that I'm over that hump, and, I mean, after that race, there were a fair few more that were pretty difficult, but... Weirdly, that was to take third place um, on the in-game rankings. You know, taking the taking second place on the rankings was way easier than taking third place, so... I've, I've got, I'm pretty hopeful that Eddie won't be too, too hard to beat, and that was a fucking massive crash from the AI there. I don't even know how you would crash into that wall, because it didn't seem like, it doesn't seem like the AI's racing line is that close to it. You'd think that they'd like see that there was a collision there, and like duck out the way, but I guess not. And I'm finally in the lead, I think for the first time in this entire race. I've got past the Suzuki, and now I'm just gonna leave him in my dust. Looks like the CBR is better in a straight line than in the corners. Which is the complete opposite of the Yamaha that I rode last week. But it's also the complete opposite that I need. Because, as I said uh, in the last episode, going fast in a straight line is a lot more important on this game than being able to go around corners all that well. I mean, obviously, there's still an element of cornering to it. And biking is about attacking the corners. But, you know, going fast is helpful too. Uh, looping back to my back of one reference that I made about you know attacking the corners and stuff. Um, or initial D, I guess Itsuki says it as well. Biking is about cornering and that. I swear that's a panel from back of one or a line, but I really don't remember. I still haven't finished back of one. I'm on episode nine of twelve, and I've been watching that show forever, so I've I've got to get it done. I'll definitely get it done before the next time I record this game. That's a that's a promise from me to you that I'm gonna finish Baku on. I got over myself recently and finally watched the episode where they introduce the character that rides the scooter. And while I'm I'm still not happy about that, uh, scooters are not real bikes. Um, no one that rides a scooter should be placed anywhere near people that ride real bikes. That's just a that's just the way it is. And I wish that this meme of scooters would end. But it'll never end. Nothing nothing will ever be okay. 
you know, plebs just won't stay the fuck out things that I enjoy. And it's maddening. It really, ooh, it gets me angry. Luckily, I'm the lonely rider these days. Well, luckily, unluckily. But I had a friend who rode a scooter back in year 11. Uh, but I haven't seen him for months now. I bumped into him a long time ago. He was still on the scooter, but he says he's got a new bike now. It looks a bit like a Harley, but it was a Chinese thing, he says. Or I guess a... Since I, I kind of don't like Harleys either. Except for like the flat track thing. Flat tracking is pretty cool. Still don't like Harley all that much though. Uh, I'm going to say Suzuki Intruder. Instead of Harley Davidson from now on. Whoa! I almost got taken out by the Jixxer there. Kawasaki managed to keep it on two wheels. Weird that, he f weird that that's happened again to a different bike than last time. Uh, they don't seem to fare too well with uh, gaps in walls for driveways uh, while they're on their 600s. It's a little bit odd. But I'll take it if it means it lets me win easier. Because I want to get to the actual TT. I want to do proper laps of the whole course rather than stages. There's nothing wrong with rallying. You know, but when you're on the TT, you want to do the TT, you know, you want to take that 20 minute challenge. Can you get around the course in less than 20 minutes? That's a that's the benchmark um, for this game, I think. Well, that's the benchmark I've always set. Uh, always, re more recently, you know, in the last couple of years, 20 minutes around the track has been a benchmark. I know the record and stuff on this game is like 18 minutes. So being within two minutes of like a video game uh, lap record on a track this long is something I'm pretty proud of. Especially because like back in my four the four days, you know, it was an achievement for me to get under ten minutes on the Nurburgring. Uh, I was never really I was I was not slow on Forza. All right, I'll have you know. But I wasn't particularly quick either. I wasn't leaderboard fast. Speaking of leaderboards. Uh, I've been getting a little bit into Dirt Rally recently. I think I might have ranted and raved about it a while ago. I don't know if that was in an episode or in a post to an image board, but I've definitely ranted and raved about... No, I was I ranted and raved about Richard Burns Rally, but that's because that game to me, and I've put actual practice time into that game, uh, especially on the... Well, I've put actual practice time into that game, uh... For some reason it works fine in my original Xbox, but it won't work in my 360 and it's supposed to be on the backwards compatibility list and the main menu loads up and then it says that there's an error with the disc, like it's dirty or damaged or something, and it's clearly not. Because if it can run in an original Xbox, I'm sure the 360, which is far more advanced, shouldn't have an issue with it. But, oh well, whatever. Point is, I can't play Richard Burns Rally with any sound. Uh, not that I find that to be a particular issue. Uh, my big problem with the game is that the physics are fucking awful. None of the cars weigh a fucking thing. Jesus Christ. You know, Mobile One Rally Championship feels a little bit like you're driving on the moon. But, you know, no one lords that game for its physics. That game is, you know, uh, regarded as a classic of the rally genre because each stage takes like 20 minutes to do and there's you know hundreds of miles of stages and stuff in that game meanwhile Richard Burns Rally everyone loves it for its physics you know I'm playing it on an original Xbox but same thing like people complain about Project Cars couldn't play it on a controller can't fucking play the fucking thing on a controller what's the point of putting it on the console, you can't play it on the fucking controller for the console, that's what you're supposed to play the console on. It's retarded. And SCI, you know, people that, I think they published um, RBR, I don't think they made it, but they published um, the Italian Job game as well, that I played the absolute fucking shit out of when I was a baby boy. So, you know, I, I had higher hopes when I saw first saw that uh, SCI logo pop up, loading up the game, but... It turns out it's fucking shit, and Dirt Rally is leagues better, even though I gave up on that game ages ago. I finally came back to it, 
Uh, and it turns out, when you put a bit of practice in, and choose the right car, uh, and by car I mean car class, because all the cars in a class pretty much drive the same. There are a couple that... I mean, it's mostly the 60s class that has the most differences, because um, the Lancia and the Mini are front-wheel drive, uh, and the Renault is rear-wheel drive, and that makes a Renault a million times better than the Mini and the Lancia, because it can just be faster, because it's not front-wheel drive. But that's the only class of car where there's really a significant difference. I mean, in the 70s class, you know, you got the... the Stratos, which is mid-engine, and everything else is front-engine, but... I mean, they're still fairly similar. Basically, what I'm saying is, you know, choose the F2 kit car class, because it's by far the most fun I've had in that game. Out of all the, all the painful hours I spent raising money in the 60s and 70s class, that um, I ended up blowing, mostly on repairs. Well, no, not really on repairs. I rarely have to spend more than two grand on repairs at the end of a rally. Uh, in Dirt Rally, but I'm talking about like, um... What? What was I talking about? I bought the Seiya Ibiza kit car, because in a Dirt Daily Challenge, uh, I drove the 306 Maxi, and it was the fucking best, you know? Getting a break from my 70s Ford, uh, I think it's the, um, it's not the Escort, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Taking a break from driving the 70s car to jump in the kit car for a little second and I was blown away by how incredibly fun it was and how easy it was to drive uh, and how you know I could actually get my foot down and go through these rally stages at a reasonable pace and stuff and I was you know I'm winning stages and rallies in the 70s class uh, admittedly I am still in the Clubman Cup I haven't put all that much time into the game but definitely I wish well, I don't wish you could start in the F2 kit cars, um, because they're, they are a bit quick, and it would probably definitely help to start in one of the 60s cars and, you know, take it a bit slow at first, get a feel for the stages and stuff, but once you're ready to put your foot down, don't go to the 70s, uh, go to the F2 kit cars, I would say. I haven't tried every class in the game. When I started playing Dirt Rally, I started by buying myself a Rallycross car, which was retarded, and I regretted doing that until I had enough money to buy the cheapest rally car uh, in the game, which I think was a Mini. Because the Rallycross is shit. I hate the Rallycross. Can't deal. Can't deal. Wouldn't go back. But the rallying is fun. Especially now that I've got an F2... Uh, say Ibiza to romp around in and I bought the Ibiza because of Mobile One Rally Championship so everything comes full circle there we go this is the point uh, where I gave up on the 400s no point in giving up on the 600s because I'm easily going to take this one home now One last stage to do. Then I can move up to the 750s. Now you might have noticed, if you follow my second channel, or even my Neath Speed Underground Let's Play, uh, I, I guess I should have said, or even my second channel, but it started on my second channel, so whatever. But because of the amount of Let's Plays I'm planning on running eventually, when I get around to it and I get all the time and that sort of thing together um, I'm trying to record six episodes of each game that I record per session and that's fairly easy with a game uh, like Need for Speed Underground I guess uh, or you know coming on Monday Rally Sport Challenge 2 uh, and on my second channel uh, that would be Gran Turismo Concept uh, it's fairly easy to break those up into 15 minute long episodes and then I can record six of those in one go and be alright with it, you know, usually alright with it. Sometimes the Elgato manages to get the sound out of sync and then get pretty mad, but 
No, at least they still go up and I still... Fuck! And my bike wasn't even in the way of someone else. Well, shit. Then I'm not out of touch. They're still on the minimap. I could catch up. Yeah, so I'm planning on going for like six episodes per session. This game, that's not going to work in, most likely. Um, and maybe once I get to the rider challenges, but I don't know how those are set out, to be honest. It, they might just be one, like one stage, and you've got to beat a certain time. Or they might be, you know, whole championships, kind of like this one. I really don't know what to expect from those. So I'll, uh, I'll hang about a bit before I really think about it, but... Because, um, so far in this game, I've done one championship per episode, and all of the championships take a certain amount of time, doing 15 minutes, uh, per episode on this game would be impossible. Um, and there's some stuff coming up later on in the game where I might only be able to make one episode in a recording session and, or even maybe not even that because you know the Formula One TT is four laps of the track uh, so that's going to take a, a little while to get done you know there are yeah there are multiple three lappers of the course and that kind of thing and when one lap takes 20 minutes you know multiple laps is an hour you're looking at and I only have I won't call it 330 I'll call it like 345 you know getting on for four when I start recording and then I have until six uh, a little bit past six before my you know family starts getting home back to the house and I can't really record anymore because as I've talked about a lot I don't like recording when there's people around, you know, I'm a little bit self-conscious in that way, I guess, you know, it's mostly a family thing. If my friends were here, I would probably not be able to record either, but, you know, it'd be a little bit more comfortable, probably. I don't, I don't really know how that would all work out, that dynamic, I kind of, yeah, just recording when I'm on my own and there's no one around, that's the way I like it. So, that's how I do it. So I don't really have all that much time in a week to record, because Tuesday is the only time I have a significant amount of time before everyone else gets home. Which works for me on most games, because on most games I can split them up into nice easy chunks. On this one, as I've already said, I can't. And there are a couple of other games where I'm probably going to have pro issues like this. I don't know how Grid Autosport will work when I finally get back to it, but I mean, even before that, the endurance races on Gran Turismo 3. You know, when I did that Mazda MX-5 endurance race, or I did unlock a new bike. When I did that Mazda MX-5 endurance race, you know, a while, while ago, way back on my first Let's Play of that game, um... You know, I could cut that up into 10 minute chunks and be fine with it because I just used to record in one big block and then cut it up. But I don't really want to be doing, you know, a race that ends halfway through an episode and picks up again in the next one. But I'll see how things go. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. Next week, 750s.